Good morning everyone, my name is Lara or Lara Likes Mascara and here on this channel I talk about all things makeup, no buy, low buy, curating your collection. I feel like I haven't done my classic intro in a while, maybe I have and I'm just forgetting, but it is nice to see you back and yeah, today's video is going to be one of my decluttering slash empties videos just to give you a quick rundown. I like to combine my decluttering and empties videos. I like to sort of do a combo video where I talk about the products that I have decluttered lately and the products that I have finished lately because I just sort of see this as one like, you know, leaving my collection kind of area of my makeup collection. And I don't do regular declutters where I sort of like look through my collection and decide what goes. I like to more organically you know, figure out what isn't working for me. Yeah, usually I do these videos every two months, but I think it's been more like three months since the last time I filmed this. So we have quite a plethora of products to discuss today. Some of these I think I've already discussed in a previous Project Pan video from the beginning of this month where I talked about obviously <laughs> the products that I'd finished from my Project Pan, so you will see a couple of those, but also some products that I've decluttered. So let's just get into it. Usually I start out with one category, either like all of my empties or all of my declutters or all of the makeup, empties and declutters, and then I move on to skincare. But I think today I'm just gonna randomly pull things out of the bag and see what comes up. I don't really feel like dividing them to categories today. So let's just begin. I do wanna start with something exciting though. So <laughs> let me pull something out. I have an idea, I have an idea. Okay, so this is a lipstick. This is the Kate, I believe it was Kate Moss collection from Rimmel London. This, I don't have that many products from Rimmel London. This is one of the only ones. And I kept this because it is a very particular shade, which I don't really have others of in my collection, but I hate the way it feels. It's super like sandy and gritty, not moisturizing at all. I don't know how much of that is because this is very old and how much of it is just because, you know, it's like not a great lipstick. And I don't usually like super bright lipsticks these days. Although obviously when I bought that, I did. But this is not a bad shade on me, I will say that. So I was keeping it around for that. But I do still have these two other lipstick shades, which are not identical, but they're both bright. So this is the Revlon Color Rose Lip Butter in Wild Watermelon. Yes, I am one of the people who still has these. I didn't get the memo that we got, were getting rid of them. Ooh, this is seeming kind of like melty. I don't know if you could tell there but it's a similar enough color. This still feels really nice on the lips, very like moisturizing. Obviously it doesn't last as long. And then this is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm in Unapologetic. This is more of a pink, but you can see that I still have bright lip colors. And because I don't wear bright lip colors that often, I think two is enough. This was on my chopping block for quite a while. So I'm glad to have just made the decision to get it out of my collection. I don't know if anyone else will want this. As you can see, I still have bright other <laughs> lip colors when I need them. This is just taking up space. I never reached for it. This next one is an empty. This is the tattoo liner from KVD the waterproof liquid eyeliner. I think that this was back when it was like a Sephora birthday gift or something. And this has basically all dried up. I mean, there's like a tiny bit of black there, but it it really is like not enough to draw a line. This was an excellent eyeliner. I will say that. I haven't tried it since they rebranded. Obviously this still says Kat Von D, which is you know, not how the brand is known anymore after they distance themselves from the person. This was, yeah, this was excellent. And I actually don't have any more liquid eyeliners in my collection that I am aware of. I had quite a few, but they all either dried out or I used them up. And this, I think this is my preferred way of doing eyeliner. So that's kind of too bad, but it's okay because I have a lot of other eyeliners that I should work through first before I even think about bringing any other ones in. And I feel like I'm still able to get a fairly good line when I use other products. So like today I was using an Urban Decay eyeliner and it's not liquid, but I feel like I still do a good enough job that it's it's fine, it's passable. I should use up what I have. Okay, we just did two makeup products, so let's do two skincare. I don't think I have any skincare declutters here just because I 
generally am able to get through my skincare. I don't have as much of a backlog as I do with makeup. So let's talk about this one first. This is the Pacifica Cosmic Shield Hydration Lock Face Cream. I love this. The scent, I think, is kind of an acquired taste. It is hemp and avocado and hemp. Oh, my partner just got home. Hemp is unique for sure. But I, I really enjoyed it i've tried another one of this pacifica one like a, a different kind with this same tube and there's not that much product in here that is my only complaint i don't know if i'll be able to get it out now you do use up everything that's in here because it is a pump so when you pull it out you can see that there's like literally nothing left like it's compressed everything so that's good but i just wish that this was more product because you know pacifica is more ethical and sustainable and all that but if you have this much packaging and then a small amount of product it's not that sustainable hi so i would repurchase again but i wish this was a larger size or something this is apothecary number five i've never heard of this brand before my partner was given a set of these things as a gift at some point um he's in the background i wonder if he's listening now and he never uses them. He is very low maintenance, so he literally does no skincare of any kind. And this was like a face wash, a toner, an eye moisturizer, face, did I say face wash already? Face mask, like so many different things and he uses none of them. So I've taken it upon myself to finish them off. So this was fine. I definitely would not buy it again. The most annoying part was that for some reason, even though this, the whole, does not look that big when stored upside down you open it so much comes out so i had to actually keep it in the shower and keep it stored like right side up upside down and then dispense it that way because otherwise when i would open it just so much product would come out and also this said expiry six months which is like nothing i feel like six months to go through a face wash only works if you're using only that face wash so would not recommend <laughs> glad that i've got that out of my collection Okay, let's do two more makeup products. Kind of like this system, one empty and one declutter. So this I've talked about at length in my Project Pan video is the NYC Bronzer in Sunny. I'm so glad that this is finally out of my collection. I've had this for so many years. It's definitely my oldest bronzer. I don't really know if I enjoyed it. It was fine. It's a bronzer, that's about all I can say. And this took me just over a year to finish up with pretty much dedicated panning. So that shows how <laughs> difficult bronzers are for me. I don't know if I'll be able ever be able to project pan one again, but I did this one, so I'm happy with that. The next one is actually a declutter. This is the L'Oreal Collection Privé by Julianne. I think this was in my project pan, but I decided to take it out because I just was not able to finish it, even though there's not that much left. But I was working through this so slowly that I was like, do I really want to have pretty much dedicated use of this thing for two months? No, like I don't want to continue this any longer. So I've decided to declutter it. Unfortunately, I gave it my best shot. I did get through a lot of this in the past like six months, but that was about as much as I could handle. Okay, two skincare products next. I honestly can't even believe that this is in this declutter video slash empties video because I feel like I finished this so long ago. This is the Super Goop Play sunscreen in the smaller size. Even though this feels like a very large size to me, I have since replaced it with the larger one in the Sephora sale. This is SPF 50 and I love it. I actually got this from Buns just to like try it out because I feel like this is the sunscreen that everyone talks about or at least the Super Goop sunscreens and I loved it. <laughs> so from now on, I will be buying this sunscreen. No complaints, super happy about it. It is very, very dewy. So I can just barely get away with it with my oily skin. And I do have to use like quite a bit of powder on top. I, I have another sunscreen option, which is much, much more mattifying. So if I knew that I wasn't gonna be using powder, I would opt for that one for sure. But yes highly highly enjoy especially if you have dry skin i think this would be a good option this next one is the body shop vitamin e moisture cream <sighs> i'm finishing so many of these products are things that my partner got as a present that he just doesn't use so i use this up in the evenings as like a night cream and it wasn't too much this is only 15 milliliters but it still took a while i washed it out very well but it still has the scent that it had which is very very fragrant I don't even know how I would describe it. It doesn't say what it smelled like, but it's very strong. This was very thick and like, 
I can't think of the word, but I didn't love the way that this felt and I would not buy it again. Back to two from Makeup. So these were very similar products. These are e.l.f. sheets. So we've got the e.l.f. shimmer sheets, which are blushes and the e.l.f. shine eraser oil blotting sheets. This one came with 50. This one came with 20. These ones, I've had both of these for a long, long time. These ones I used to use like when I first got them and sort of over the years a little bit, but this one, I don't think I used a single one until I rediscovered these in the past like year or so. So it's kind of funny that I finished them both at the same time, but I didn't particularly enjoy these because of the color. So if you can see, it's like a super, super vibrant, shimmery pink color, which is just not my vibe. It's not my vibe on my cheeks or my lips. So I had to push myself to work through these, but I was like, Lara, it's 20 sheets. Like it's not gonna take you that long. Just get them out of the way. <laughs> you know, it's gonna be much faster than finishing like a normal powder blush. So I did, I think I was working on this for like six months and now they're done. So happy with that. And these ones, I actually have a second pack of these. So I'm only halfway through my oil blotting sheets, but these I like quite a bit better. They're not great or anything, but like they do sop up the oil. They do what they're supposed to do. And that's kind of all you can hope for with oil blotting sheets. These definitely are not available anymore. So yeah, I'm just glad to be getting these out. Skincare. These are no surprise. These are the Ordinary Marine Hyaluronics and Niacinamide 10% plus Zinc 1%. Again, these are my project pants, so I've discussed these. Yeah, I'm not super into serums. I'm not super into anything skincare other than like <laughs> the very, very basics. I really like the packages of these though. They, they, look, they look so cute, but yeah, pretty, pretty underwhelmed by them. Just happy for them to be out. They did take over a year, more like a year and a half almost, I would say. Okay, more makeup. Okay, so I have a bunch of samples I will talk about. I don't know if I used to talk about samples in my empties videos, but I haven't had samples for a long time, so I'll just briefly discuss them. I got a bunch of samples from Buns from a couple of different brands. So these are the Kosas ones. I tried a couple different colors and I was pretty underwhelmed, honestly. I found that the texture is very strange. It's kind of like spongy. Did anyone else notice that? And then this is the Danessa Myricks one, which I also really did not like. So, so thick, so heavy coverage. I'm actually using this one, but the, in the next shade up today. And again, I feel like it's so heavy coverage. My face is just like, Mm, I don't like I don't like the heaviness and the way it feels on my face. I'm also getting a lot of breakouts on my nose lately I don't know if it's because of this makeup, but because of that Like I just feel like it's doing bad things because it's already breaking out and then I'm adding more product on top to cover it up Anyways, <laughs> yeah, these samples have not worked out super well But I am determined to get through them and try them out because at least then I can You know cross these products off my list of things that I might want to try in the future This is an easy way to try without having to buy to try as Shauna terms it Let me just show you a close-up. I don't know if you'll really be able to see But this is how my skin is looking with the heaviness of these products I'm also using a high coverage elf concealer so that's probably not helping but uh, not happy with any of these samples <laughs> and also because I don't like these products I only use a little bit at a time so they end up taking longer to work through even though they're just samples anyways I put myself into this situation I was the one who chose to get them <laughs> okay next is these Revlon Colorstay cream eyeshadows so this will come as no surprise there's actually should be two but I decluttered one I already gave it to Shauna so that's why you can't see it here but this from i mean okay it looks like a nice shade like a nice matte taupe but then as soon as i swatched it it was like no this is not for me which is pretty unfortunate because i feel like you can always use like a nice matte brownie taupe color but this is this is not the one it's just a couple shades off of what would work for me. It always looked way too cool tone on my eyes, super not flattering. It's a great formula. It stays in place really, really well on the eyelids. And it was the same issue with that other one. Great formula, but just way too cool tone for me. It did not look flattering at all on my eyes. So I'm glad that I found a new home for that one. And I'm just glad that I've gotten these out of my collection because I feel like I... I've had them for a long time, first of all, and I introduced them into my Pan Those Eyeshadows series 
like at the end of 2021 I think and I've just been like trying to make them work for so long that eventually I was like they're not going to work okay say goodbye so I am saying goodbye now. Okay, those are all the makeup things. I have a couple more miscellaneous and skincare, hair care stuff. So this is the Kiss by Lush. I had a couple of these like lip scrubs. I think I had like three or four. I don't know why I had so many. I think it's because I was gifted some and some were from like random volunteering gigs that they like give you a present at the end. And this one, oh yeah, you can still smell it it went bad so quickly and like so so bad to the point where I washed this out you know when I decided to get rid of it a month or two ago or whatever it was and it still smells that way really really not good I'm sure at one point this smelled good but that was a long time ago and I just this is a cute little pot maybe I'll keep the pot when I smelled it I was like no this is this is going right away I'm not even gonna try to use this on my lips uh -uh. This next one is the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Go Blonder Controlled Lightning Spray. This was a two pack I got from a Buns Trade. Basically, all of these types of products, like Sun In, this John Frieda one, I tried to get through like Buns or Facebook Marketplace because I couldn't find any that were cruelty free. But this is so tiny, so it obviously didn't last a super long time. What I'm using now is a Sun Bum one. I ended up finding one from Sunbun, which is cruelty free that was only available at bed bath and beyond which i have literally never been to in my life so i ordered three online it was pretty expensive but i'm like you know what at least this way i'm covered for a while it's cruelty free and yeah it seems to work the same as the other ones my hair is like a dark blonde color naturally and in the sun it gets lighter but i'm not i don't go in the sun that much so i like to bring it out with a, a little, little help of some bleach I, I find that it's a super natural look what's funny is that when i went to get my hair cut obviously <laughs> got a haircut fairly recently the hairdresser was like oh when did you get your color done and i was like no i don't i don't dye my hair i just use like sun in type products and she like would not believe me <laughs> she was like I know how much people pay for this. Like, I cannot believe how natural this looks. And I was like, yeah, I mean, it's worked for me. Maybe one day I'll dye it, but like for now, I'm happy with this. Anyways, a couple more miscellaneous products. <laughs> these are truly misc. Okay, well, this one, these are the makeup removing wipes from Aveeno. This is so old to the point that I don't know how old. The wipes had like completely dried up, but they still had the like, you know makeup removing properties in them just without the liquid without the water so i just like would get them wet and then use them and i think makeup removing wipes are handy like i still have some but i would never go out and buy them you know like sometimes if you have a night out and you really don't want to wash your face when you get home it's just simpler but yeah they're they're so wasteful like i'm, I'm just not one for trying to use single use items so glad those are out also not cruelty free also just just trying to get out of my life two more things i'm trying to get out of my life this is a i don't even know if i should talk about this two two teeth care products this is a toothpaste i there's a couple of different cruelty free ones i like this is one of them from burt's bees this i had like a cavity problem for a while because i like grind down my teeth and anyways my dentist recommended this uh i really did not like the flavor <laughs> And it took me like two years to work through this because I disliked it so much. I have a dentist appointment next week, so hopefully the dentist doesn't tell me to go get some more because I really don't want to. But yeah, I just, this was in my bathroom, so I was like, why not just include it? And this is a contact solution. This just had like a tiny, tiny bit left, but when I was using it the last little while, it my contacts was like stinging, so I just got rid of them, tried a new pair. Yeah, so I think that this had expired, just basic contact, solution i don't know what to say about it again in my bathroom it was something i finished so i figured i would include it but i know it's a little weird so those are all of the empties and declutters from this month well really the last like three months i'm really happy with how much miscellaneous and just like makeup and skincare stuff even i've gotten out of my collection in the past little while whenever i do these i'm like how had i possibly accumulated so much stuff to the point that this this is what I finish every couple of months. Like, how do I even have space for all this stuff, you know? This is me minimizing my collection and trying to get to the point where I don't have this much stuff decluttered every month or so. So let's talk about a book that I've been re reading lately, which I talk about at the end of every video. 
Okay, so this is Sea of Tranquility by Emily St. John Mandel. She has been very popular lately. So she wrote a book called Station Eleven, which is honestly, it kind of feels like a pandemic era book because I think that there is a virus that takes place at the beginning of the book. And so it changes all of society like much, much worse than COVID to the point where most people die. And it focuses on this, this group of characters who are basically like a traveling troupe like they perform they put on shows they play music and plays and that kind of thing i tried to put, read that book a couple of years ago and i actually never finished it i would be interested to finish it now but yeah i wasn't super into it i only picked this up because it was like very new i saw it at the library and i was like oh i can't resist a brand new book and it's been highly recommended by ann bogle whose opinion i highly trust and this is much more interesting than station 11 to me i think that book is also been turned or is being turned into a tv show anyways i don't have that much left and it's it's sci-fi and it's kind of about time travel and i was not expecting that at all i went in not knowing anything about it and maybe that's i mean it's not a spoiler you know there's something weird going on you find out at the very beginning but i feel like that might be the only way to entice my audience to read it so if you like sci-fi with some very human drama type of elements i think you would really enjoy this the implications of time travel are super super interesting to me and i feel like this story could go way way further than the actual author is actually going to go like it feels like what's unfolding has just begun and there's a whole world to explore within that and yet I, she has like 50 75 pages to wrap it up so i'm like ugh, you could have gone so far with this but yeah highly recommend i'm really really enjoying this and i'm very surprised so that is going to be it for today's video thank you so so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful day weekend uh let me know if you like my haircut not that i mean i haven't stopped talking about it since i got it like a month ago at this point when this is going live. But yeah, that's gonna be it for today. Thanks so much. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.